Welcome back. Today, a Dublin church held their final church service in their sanctuary. Their church has to find a new home as the Georgia Department of Transportation prepares to widen Highway 441. Sarah Hammond spoke to two lifelong members who say leaving the 100 year old church is hard, but it's not about the building. It's about the people. Temporary plastic chairs replaced 100 year old pews during Blue Water Baptist Church's final service Sunday morning. We're looking at it being demolished real soon. The congregation, including Tony Bowman, said goodbye to their place of worship as the Georgia Department of Transportation prepares to widen Highway 441. And this church in particular has known that the widening project was going to take the church for close to 40 years now. And now it's finally happening. They emptied out the church Saturday morning. It was pretty emotional. I mean, obviously you have some folks that have a lot of history here. Uh, their families have come through this church. Bowman says his whole family was baptized there. As we keep reminding ourselves and our congregation, the church is not a building. The church is the people within uh, the congregation. Adam Hobbs, a member since he was 11 years old, says they had tissues ready. The service this morning revolved around us being together. Um, staying faithful. He married his wife in the sanctuary and baptized his children there. We're doing the best we can given our uh, current situation. Um, we don't know exactly what's going to happen from here. He says they'll build on the 10 acres of donated land almost directly across the street, an area GDOT can't build on because of a cemetery. We've been working since then to try to negotiate with them, work with them, uh, and prepare for the future. GDOT told 13 WMAZ in an email the project spans four miles from Pine Hill Road to State Route 117. They classify the church as a relocation, but members of the church feel they are not being compensated properly for the move. The church is the people, and no matter where we go, we're going to have church. In Dublin, Sarah Hammond, 13 WMAZ News. Hopefully everything works out with them. Now Hobbs says Turkey Creek Baptist Church is loaning them their sanctuary until their new building is finished. Both Hobbs and Bowman says at this point they don't know how long it will be until they have a permanent place to call home.